This year we turned 110. We're fine with growing old. We're not fine with growing stale. So to celebrate, we're gonna throw open the windows and let in some fresh air. We're rethinking and reimagining, and if we find that we've picked up any bad habits over the decades, we're going to leave them far behind. We're simply going to treat people as we'd like to be treated ourselves, fair and square. We won't make anyone jump through hoops to get a good price. We won't fill mailboxes with junk. We'll have great prices every day and spectacular prices that last a whole month. And it won't stop there. We'll keep dreaming up new ways to make you love shopping again, matching our calendar to the rhythm of your life. Because we're not interested in being the biggest store or the flashiest store. We want to be your favorite store. When most people think of JCPenney's customer base, they think of middle-aged to late-age generations. Johnson hopes to recreate JCPenney's customers by reaching out to a younger, more modern generation, which would include people of different orientations and lifestyles. Prior to Ron Johnson coming to the company, JCPenney was suffering a major decline in sales and market share in their industry. As far as the company itself, it was clear that their marketing was outdated. Over 110 years old, the company reached the maturity stage of their life cycle and was slowly progressing in the decline. However, it was through the hopes of rebranding that JCPenney would become the store customers love. How many times in the last eight months, what were you thinking? Last November, Ron Johnson made a shocking move when he decided to leave Apple to become the new CEO at JCPenney. Most people have wondered, why over the last eight months? His answer was simply to change every aspect of the department store experience. Ron Johnson has always taken interest in the retail experience. Apple went from having no retail in 2001 to being the biggest technology icon in today's world. By 2015, Ron Johnson hopes to remake every aspect of JCPenney. The new JCPenney brand identity includes a new logo, a new monthly catalog distributed to 14 million customers, and a brand new partner, talk show host and comedian Ellen DeGeneres. Part of JCPenney's rebranding strategy is using faces that are loved by the public. JCPenney's decision to use Ellen DeGeneres in their commercials is no coincidence. She is one of the most popular daytime television hosts of our time. This morning on CBS, Ron Johnson talked about the reasoning behind using Ellen. We stand squarely behind Ellen as our spokesperson, and that's a great thing because she shares the same values that we do in our company. Our company was founded 110 years ago on the Golden Rule, which is about treating people fair and square, just like you like to be treated yourself. And we think that Ellen represents the values of our company and the values that we share. Something else that I'd like to talk about. Um, you all may know that I've recently teamed up with J.C. Penney. I'm very excited about that. Yep. And not only because I think it's a great store, but also because I get a great employee discount and I could use some new T-shirts. Anyway, so I'm happy about it, and J.C. Penney is happy about it. But there's a group called One Million Moms that is not happy about it. And uh, normally I try not to pay attention to my haters, but this time I'd like to talk about it because my haters are my motivators. So, This organization doesn't think that I should be the spokesperson because I'm gay. So uh, for those of you who just tuning in for the first time, it's true I'm gay. I hope you were sitting down. <laughs> I, I hate to break it to you this way, but anyway. So they wanted to get me fired, and I am proud and happy to say that J.C. Penney stuck by their decision to make me their spokesperson. <laughs> In a recent Father's Day commercial, J.C. Penney chose to use two real-life dads and their actual children in their ad. They are striving to target today's modern generation and are clearly in support of diversity. Ron compares rebranding to six P's. Price, personality, product, promotion, place, and presentation. The first and most dramatic change was creating a new pricing strategy that is designed to put an end to over-discounting. Discounts and sales 
litter the retail landscape. J.C. Penney studied their sales and found that only one in 500 items sold at full price, while 72% of revenue came from products discounted by 50% or more. To break through the discount clutter, J.C. Penney announced this new strategy called fair and square pricing. In recent commercials centering around the frustrations of coupons, Alan DeGeneres, who travels back to the West to find a time without coupons. Here it is. Six ninety nine, nine ninety nine. What's with the ninety nine? Has it always been this way? Cheerio, my fair lady. Pray tell the price of this fine hat. It's Fourteen pounds ninety nine pence. Okay, so fifteen pounds. Fourteen pounds ninety nine pence. Are you trying to trick me? No. So fifteen pounds. Differentiation is a fair point, and JCPenney is working to offer products appeal beyond a good price. Special collections from designers Cynthia Rowley, Betsy Johnson, Vivian Tam, Lulu Guinness will also appear in the store this fall. A Martha Stewart shop will be the focal point of the home section, and Jonathan Adler, Michael Graves, and Bodum will also be getting a footprint. More space will also be given to popular brands like Puma and Nike and a new JCPenney label will be launched in August. If JCPenney can draw people in with these offerings, they'll be able to compete on more than price alone. The company's goal is communicated by its new square-shaped logo, which is meant to evoke the American flag and the company's principle of treating customers fair and square. Instead of coupons and big sale signs, the company's colorful new catalog will showcase all of JCPenney's offerings Will the strategy work? It can work if JCPenney can build true differentiation. It worked when a similar strategy was implemented by Walmart, although JCPenney's approach will be more of a significant change for the retail giant. The end.